What's good everybody? I'm Danny D'Lo. This is Danny D'Lo Biker TV. In today's episode, we're going to do a little something different. I wanted to show y'all how I take care of my motorcycle. How I buff it, how I wax it, how I get it ready for spring so it's looking sharp all spring long. I'm going to show you the products that I use and I'm going to show you how I do it step by step. And we're going to get into all of that right after this. What do we do as bikers on a beautiful rainy day? You know, we work on our bikes. Can't ride, so might as well start detailing it. What's good everybody, I'm Danny D. Low. So here we are, I got my tour pack, got it all taped off, ready to go. This is me walking around, trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. Oh, there we are. 3M Step 2 Machine Polish. Usually I do a step three on a motorcycle when it comes to paint correcting, but this time I decided to do a step two and then three. Uh, just skip the buffing because the tour pack wasn't really that bad. And I'm doing all of this just so that I can uh, ceram ceramic coat it basically. Um, so that's why you want to tape everything off. Anytime you're going to buff something or do anything like this, you definitely want to tape all your leather off and stuff. So this is me spreading the polish around. You definitely want to do that so you don't have it spreading all over the place. And here we go. I start off slow to get the polish into the paint and spread it around. And then I normally step up my speed and get it going so that way there you can start polishing and correcting the paint job. When you're doing paint correcting like this, you always want to use fresh brand new rags and use three rags for a three step, two rags for a two step, and so forth. Um, you always want to wipe everything down before you continue on. So here we are, now we're going to do the step three, which is the 3M Perfected Ultra Fine Machine Polish by 3M. By the way, I'm not sponsored by these guys. This is just the stuff that I like to use. There's many other products out there to use that are easier to handle and they probably work just as good if not better, but I prefer 3M because that's I'm just old school, man. I'm an old school paint corrector from a body shop, so this is what I like to use. Like I saw we say, a little bit goes a long way. You don't have to use a ton of it. And uh, as always, you wanna spread it around on the polish before you even hit your power button. Um, just so you avoid splattering all over your, yourself, the bike, and everywhere else. And then you start off at the low speed, spread it on, get it into the paint, and then you hit the high speed so you can start perfecting the paint job. So I just got to tell you guys, man, for me, polishing my bike, it's just as therapeutic as it is riding my bike you know growing up on the west side of chicago or anywhere in chicago man in a city you know growing up there the biggest thing was you know we would wash our cars and and wax them and all that on friday night and cruise around but then saturday we detailed them out all saturday so saturday night we hit the strip looking clean looking fly looking real good everything all shiny by the way, everybody in Chicago, remember back in the 80s and 90s when everybody used to put the wax on the car and leave it on like the whole weekend? <laughs> that shit was always funny to me, man. So, I mean, I've always been a detail guy, man. You know, by the way, I own my own detail business, which is why I make this stuff look simple. And uh, I've been doing it a very long time, and that's why I'm, I'm very comfortable doing what I'm doing. So, as always, 
you want to wipe it down with a fresh brand new rag after each step just to avoid any contamination to avoid any little dust particles or anything like that and um, you just want it to look good you know what I mean so here's the finished product coming right up there you go look at that like a mirror have you ever seen your paint look like that not even from Harley brand new right there's some smudges still from the wax build up and stuff like that but other than that that's how you paint correct your paint job and make it look brand new you can literally read my hand read my tattoos you can read a book through this paint job and by the way my back my bike is black which is a very hard hard color to make it look like a mirror but that's your finished product man I love doing this stuff man like it's it's so therapeutic to me making everything look good so now here we are about to start this this is made by torque detail spray it's a ceramic spray and uh, it's the first time I ever started using it and by the way they're not sponsoring me either um, so I'm just trying out a new product to be honest with you um, I spray a lot more on it than most people probably would just because I want to cover it really really well so you want to spray it down really good try your best to cover everything around it because this spray does get everywhere and it is kind of like silicone based I think and uh, wipe it down very very good make sure you wipe it all over real good get, get that ceramic coating all up in every little crease every little cranny you can and then you buff it out with a brand new rag by the way you want to use brand new rags for this step too at least two of them one to put the to apply the product on the paint and then the second one is obviously to buff it and clean it all off but um, I'm very amazed by the product it works great um, I, I can't believe how the dust stays off of the bike compared to any other wax I've ever used on a windy day my bike doesn't get all dusty like no, our normal black paint jobs right I mean, I'm not the only guy with a black Harley right I, I'm pretty sure there's at least one or two of you out here right <laughs> So yeah, we all know how it is to have a black paint job. On a windy day, your bike ends up dusty as hell out riding. But uh, my bike looks brand new. Like I just got finished waxing it after a long ride, after a windy day of it just sitting out in a garage or whatever. So I'm very amazed by it. And, and the great part of uh, the ceramic coating is you can just wipe it off with a rag. You're not gonna scratch your paint and make it look horrible. So this is the first time I'm using this Torque product and um, I personally so far I could say I like it we'll see how long it lasts um, I do put three coats of this on there I will put a coat on it and I will let it sit for about a half hour and then I put another coat and then I let it sit another 30 minutes and then I put a third coat and let it sit for another 30 minutes and then leave it alone for about a week or two and then put another coat of it on there um, I don't know if that's what they tell you to do but as you can see right here the paint job looks fresh as hell man it looks brand spanking new um, and it will stay looking like this all summer long um, that much I can't tell you as you can see I mean look at my hand as clear as day you can read a book through my paint job man so that's how you machine polish or I should say that's how you high-speed polish and paint correct um, I am a paint corrector by trade. I do own my own detail business as I said So that's why I was trying out these new products and I uh, hope you enjoyed this show and I want to see y'all bikes too. send me some pictures to my email So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the show um, As far as prepping your bike for spring No, first of all, I want to express this. I can't express this enough Always put a trickle charger on your battery all winter long keeps your battery fresh keeps it ready to go so when springtime comes and you're ready to start your bike take a cruise you're ready to go starts right up and you're ready to ready to roll down the road um, I always start off my spring with a oil change complete fluid change new gaskets new rubber o-rings for all the plugs and um, I always use red line for everything personally um, but that's just my personal preference um, again, they don't sponsor me either, but that's what I use. I use Redline um, in the motor, the shockproof in the tranny, and in the primary. Um, 
I go over the bike, you know, that's why I, I start off my spring, my, my, my summer off by putting my bike on a rack or putting it on a jack if you don't have a rack. Um, and just going through the whole bike and detailing it, cleaning it, making it look good. And while you're detailing it, you can notice things that are wrong, bolts that are missing, bolts that are loose. You know, check all your bolts, all that stuff. You know, check your brakes, check your tires, roll them completely so you can make sure there's no screws or, you know, no, no tears in the tires or bubbles or anything like that. And that's, that's how I go over my bike. I go over my bike with a fine tooth comb, comb every year, no matter what. Even when I know my bike is all good, I make sure I go completely through it just to make sure that it's safe, it's roadworthy, and I ain't gotta worry about nothing. So that's my tips for starting off your spring and getting your bike ready for the summer, getting ready to do your updates, you know, your off days, your, your road days, whatever you call them. You know, that's just, that, that's how I've always been taught is uh, spend a Sunday afternoon or a Sunday day and go over your whole bike or a Saturday. That way you can have a couple brews with the homies, with the brothers, and just chill, listen to some music, go over your bike with a fine tooth comb, make sure the wiring's good, make sure everything's all good on it. So that way there, it's just less things you gotta worry about while you're out riding all summer long. So that's my tips, that's my tricks. That is my motorcycle in the video, and that's what I do every year. So much love and respect to y'all. To all my new subscribers, welcome. Let me know where you're from. Drop a comment. Let me know who you are, where you're from, what you're doing, how you're doing, all that good stuff. Everybody that's been donating to my Cash App, much love and respect to you. My Cash App's right here. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all for showing me the love and the respect by donating to my channel to keep me up and going and make my dream come true man i much love and respect for y'all man for real so that being said here's your video for you know a little while and i'll see you on the next episode <laughs> i'll holla at y'all man peace